Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking which reaction would have this expression for an equilibrium constant? And they have given k is equal to over 2. Now, let's see which is going to be that, right? First of all, uh, we have to know two things before we do this, do this problem. That is, whenever we have solid, it's not going to come. Whenever we have liquid, that's also not going to come. So, solid and liquid does not come in the equilibrium constant equation. Also, the equilibrium constant equation is going to be product over reactants, right? Product over reactants. Now, let's look at each answers. First answer we have KClO3 solid, solid, and these two solids are not going to come. And 3 or 2 in the product side, so that's going to be on top. But the thing is we have three coefficient right here. So what's going to happen is if we write the equilibrium constant equation, we are going to write O2 power 3. So we have to have a power 3 right here. But in the question, they, have your, they haven't given power 3. So this is not going to be the answer. Now let's look at the second question, second answer. Here we have liquid, liquid. So these two are not going to come. But this O2 is going to come. This is in gas state, so this will this will come, and there's no power in front of it. Only just I mean there's no coefficient in front of it. Only one is there, right? If there's nothing, it means one, and this is correct because O2. So when we don't have anything, that means power one. So this is correct, and let's look at the third one. Both of these have this expression wrong. Neither have this expression wrong. So answer is going to be two. Now let's look at the second question. The second question is asking at some point, at some temperature, the equilibrium constant for the reaction, this equation, what is the equilibrium constant for the reaction for this one? So here they have given equilibrium constant for this reaction, the first reaction. And let's look at the second reaction. Second reaction, if you notice, this is opposite of this one, right? So when we have opposite, what's going to happen is if this one is 42, opposite is going to be 1 over 42. And also, if you notice, this is half of the original one. In the original one, we had 2H2O2. Here we have only one. And 2H2O1, right? And O2, this is half. So this is half of this value. So what we have to do is we just have to power this one by half. And that's going to be the K for this new, new equation. And if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.15, right? And let's look at the third question. Third question is saying if the free energy change of a reaction is 2.40 kilojoule at 298, 298 Kelvin, what is the equilibrium constant? Now, to find the equilibrium constant that is related to free energy is this equation. First of all, we have to know the equation that is delta G is equal to negative RT lambda K, right? So here we are trying to find k. So if you want to find k, you have to rearrange this equation. Lambda k is going to be equal to delta G over negative RT. Now in order to find k, we have to power E, like we have to take E power to get rid of this lambda, right? So this is going to be E power lambda k. So lambda and E cancels. Finally, we will end up with just k. So this is going to be k is equal to e power delta g over negative rt. Now let's plug the values. e power delta g, here if you notice this is 2.40. But energy constant r is going to be 8.3145, right? So this is joules in joules per mole Kelvin. But this is uh, in kilojoule. So we had to convert this one into joule in order to get the right answer. So to convert this one into joule, we, we just have to multiply this one by 1000. So this is going to give us 2400 joule. And if you divide this one by 8.3145 and multiply this one by 298, and also this is negative, right? And if you calculate this one, you should get this answer. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.